Hey guys, I'm here at Sedona Food Truck. Recommended. I saw the, the menu and I was interested in trying the swordfish tacos, but this is the owner, Ian Joe. So yep. tell us about your spot. Yeah, we put that up about a year ago. It's an okay. extension to uh, Mooney's Irish Pub. So we run ah, the same menu out, okay, food out of Mooney's. Okay, out of Mooney's. And the okay. bar. Yeah, so All it's right. been there about a year. Okay, so yeah. the swordfish is what I'm going to do. Swordfish is a big one. The, the big nachos one, right? are also very popular. The nachos, okay. Yeah, we, we try to do a good job on the tacos. So. Oh, okay. I picked yeah. up the, I ordered the tacos and the burrito. So okay. I went with That's that round. That's also good. Yep. Okay, it's also good. Swordfish is always good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right, excited to try it. Thanks, appreciate it for that. No worries. All right, so we are inside Mooney's Irish Pub. Uh, this is where the Sedona food truck, if you want to eat inside, you can eat inside. Outside was kind of cold, so we're kind of, we want to eat inside in the first place, so it's good that there's an indoor, kind of a bar scene, really retro, as far as the atmosphere is really lively, music, and oh, excited to try some swordfish tacos. So Chef Anthony doing his thing here at Sedona Food Truck. Looks amazing, you can see the skills and uh, excited to try the food here at Sedona Food Truck. Alright, again, Sedona food truck, big thanks to the chefs back there who prepared the food, got me to try and see some of the, the making behind the scenes, but right now we have the trio of tacos, we have the swordfish taco, the I believe this is carnitas, and then the carne asada, but what I'm most anticipating in trying is the swordfish tacos, so here it is, the swordfish taco, I'm gonna pick that up right now. Oh, actually, let's sprinkle some lime on it first. So, a little lime. Lime on everything. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and take the first bite of the swordfish taco. Fantastic presentation, by the way. Okay, here we go. First bite, swordfish. Bite. Everything's falling apart. But wow. And the wind. Deep fried swordfish. Couple with the pico de gallo. Cabbage. Some sauce. Uh, maybe some sour cream. Coming in. Oh, Sean's biting it right now, too. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Take a hand, Gary Taylor. Hello. Uh, <laughs> eat that crunchy taco, right, baby. Right. Eat that taco. <laughs> Crispy on the outside, soft interior. Again, coupled with the added additions, uh, that just enhances the flavor. Another bite of that swordfish taco. Moving down here. Next is the carnitas taco. Loaded taco, that's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna go and carry this up here. Okay. All right. Alright, I gotta take a bite of that. Again, these things just like fall apart, which is totally fine. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna bite that right now. Oh, it also has um, fried shallots on top too. So that should be a plus. All right, bite. You're gonna get like a same like like pattern going with these tacos here. The fried shallots, the carnitas, uh, uh, the carnitas. That also is delicious too. I actually want to add some hot sauce to this one right now. It gave me a pretty pretty hot sauce. Oh, Sean is taking a bite of the carnitas too. I don't eat carnitas. Yeah. This is really really juicy. I'm gonna use that pretty pretty sauce on the uh, carne asada. So let me flip it over. But before I try that pretty pretty sauce. I'm gonna, uh, this one he has a he put his own, there, his own other sauce too like a type of mayonnaise and a green sauce as well don't know what it is but all right bye. oh wow that's a type of chimichurri sauce chimichurri chimichurri sauce I love the carne asada meat option as well a pico de gallo sprinkled feta cheese. Excellent taco. The meat's up here. Mm. More lime in that one. The pretty pretty sauce. Oh, really don't know how hot this sauce is. Bye. Well, yeah. I mean, this would be um, Tabasco sauce any day for sure. Cheers. All right, last item on the menu is the mahi mahi burrito. Okay, check that out. I can't turn down any fish, anything. Unravel that. And this one. Before I add any, I think I'm gonna add the hot sauce now because I actually really like the hot sauce here. Added some of that curry curry hot sauce. Okay. All right. Bite the mahi mahi and bite. What? Five to now. We're taking turns eating a burrito. Crunchy stuff. Batter? Yeah. That bite was actually fantastic. Yeah. You taste the mahi mahi, you taste the cheese, you taste the potatoes. It's almost like a California burrito with mahi mahi. I enjoy the sauce right here. Okay, so put some more of that. Bite. I'm much enjoying that burrito actually, really. I'm enjoying that hot sauce actually too. Is that good? Best and only fish burrito I've ever had. Have you had a fish burrito before? All the time. So really? These are the best, wow. That's huge. I'd say so. I've had many fish burritos though, but yeah, this definitely ranks up there as one of the best. It's mahi mahi. The mahi 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 fish burrito and a swordfish taco. They have their fish game on point. Hey guys, I'm gonna finish up this video here at Sedona Food Truck. It's at a Mooney's Irish Pub. Uh, I just want to let you know that the food here is fantastic. I mean, I enjoyed. We enjoyed the fish, the swordfish tacos. We Amazing. enjoyed the mahi mahi burrito, which. If I were to choose, I'll have a hard choice. But the Mahi Mahi Burrito is actually really, really good. Yeah, fantastic place for you to get like comfort food here in Sedona if you're looking for something like that. Bar scene, bar food, and um, yeah, enjoying this time here in Sedona. With that said, peace out. One love, late. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss a thing. Later from Sedona.